Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. In this video, we are going to have a look at a hair dryer from Philips. So it's a 1600 watt model, and this is the box. It came uh, without a seal or anything from Amazon.in, and this is what the front of the box looks like. It says pleasant sound and a foldable handle plus eight product features, 20% quieter than other hair dryers. So there are some more features over here. So a 20 mm uh, concentrator, it's compact in size, it has a hook, three settings, 1600 watts, 1 1.8 meter cable, and it works on both 110 volts and 240 volts. So that means you can use it anywhere in the world. This is the back of the box. MRP written in 1695, but I'll leave the best price link in the description below. And the wattage written is 1350 to 1600 watts, but we will be checking that in detail in some time. And the voltage return is 220, 240, but it works on 110 also, as I mentioned. Some more details over here. So it does come with a bag also. Let's quickly open up the box. So here is the concentrator. Here is the hair dryer itself. And the box is empty. Let's throw that away. So here is a manual, we don't need that, some warranty information I guess, we don't need that, just the bill is enough. So this is the concentrator, so the plastic feels quite nice and the tint to the plastic also is quite nice. Let's take out the hair dryer itself. So first impression is quite nice, the plastic feels nice, it's not very heavy, so as we mentioned that it has a foldable handle so it's easy to store, clicks in place and it's not very heavy. The previous hair dryer that I reviewed was from Agaro, I think it had an AC motor, so I guess these work on DC motors, so this is not very heavy, AC motors must be heavy then. So on the back you can see there is this mesh, so it will uh, protect you, uh, you know, you from putting your hand or letting your hair enter inside the fan over there. So the fan is in nice color over there and you can see it over there. This is the front, so you can see the heating element over there and also it is protected by a mesh, so you do not put your fingers inside it by accident. And uh, some more information here. This is the button, so one, two and three and that is the off position. On the back you can see there is a setting to change it from 110 to 220. Right now it is at 220, so if you just turn the dial like this, it turns to 110. So pretty easy to do that. And they have provided this nice uh, switch over here so that accidentally it doesn't go to 110. So you will need a screwdriver or a coin or something like that to change the setting. And here is the hook. Let's open up the cable. So the cable as mentioned is 1.8 meters long and it is I think sufficient enough for your needs. Let's attach the concentrator, clicks in nicely, does not come out easily and looks quite nice one of the uh, nicest looking hair dryers that I've seen. You can turn it. So I'm going to attach a thermal sensor here and I'll attach it to a uh, power meter and let's see how much power does it consume and how is the performance. Before that I'd just like to show you the bag that it comes with which I forgot to show you. Nothing very special thin bag and you pull it to close it. Nice that they include it so that you can carry it easily with you when you're traveling. So I have attached the hair dryer to the power meter and to a multimeter and it will be showing you the temperature over here. The sensor is attached right at the front. So if you're wearing headphones I would suggest that you lower down your volume a bit because I'm going to switch it on and I don't want your ears to get hurt by the sound if it is too loud. So let's switch it on at the lowest setting. So you'll be able to see the temperature over here. So this is what they call, this is what they call the cool shot button. But uh, as you can see the temperature did rise up 
and we are, we are going to run it a bit more and we will see but this gives out some kind of warm air it's not totally cool air and the second uh, second setting is for hot and the hotter setting is on the top so we are going to test that now so this is the cool shot not much air so let's see Maybe this cloth can give you a reference of how much air is being. And we are consuming 355 watts. Let's go to the first heat setting. So it's not very hot and we have jumped to 691 watts let's check the voltage we are at two, almost 230 volts let's go to the hottest setting so the hottest setting does not change the fan speed anymore so that is the maximum fan speed and I don't think it's very high so my thermal sensor cable is a bit loose so I was just checking that 47 degrees over here so if, if there is an obstruction the temperature will definitely rise but the air is pretty hot so can't really keep my hand here for a really long time and you can see it's at about 1270 watts So it's not consuming the 1600 that they claim it does. Let's take a look at the hairdryer with thermal camera. So we just tested it so we can see the nozzle area is pretty warm. It's about at, uh, it's at 62, 63 and the insides are cooling down. Let's switch it on again and see what happens. So this is at the cool shot setting. We are at 354 watts. Let's turn it off. So we can have a look at the element which is heating up. Now this is at the highest setting. So without the nozzle, let's take a look at the heating element with the thermal camera. So we can paint with this. You can see on the thermal camera how the heat is going on the table. Interesting. So you can really touch the hair dryer and it's not letting any uh, heat come to the body of the pla uh, hair dryer, the plastic. And even the thermal camera is showing that. The plastic body is pretty cool, whereas all the heat is contained inside. Model 17. So guys, that was a look uh, at the hair dryer with the thermal camera and uh, I hope you got an idea that what is the performance of this product. So the pros are the build quality is quite nice and uh, the sound is not very loud but I don't really care you know how loud my uh, hair dryer is I don't know for some people it might be an issue but not for me but anyways it doesn't have that much sound 
the, uh, the it has nice protection features you can't really get a shock from anywhere i feel you can hang it it folds and uh, the heat of the element also is quite nice and i can still touch it and i can't uh, burn myself the con is that the air speed is not that much so i guess uh, in this price uh, you can't have everything so i think it's pretty good it should uh, do the job really well the best part is it is very lightweight so you can carry it you can use it easily and your hands won't get tired so thanks for watching this video guys i hope this uh, helped you make your purchase decision it this item is selling quite a lot on uh, amazon but nobody had a proper review of it so i thought i will help you out and uh, if you want to buy this please uh, use the link in the description to make your make your purchase if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below i'll try to answer it as soon as possible thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye